Let's get to our top story on a Wednesday morning. Those phone calls to the U.S. Embassy in Japan threatening to kill Ambassador Caroline Kennedy. NBC's Katie Turr has the latest on this. Katie, officials are not taking this lightly. No, not at all, Matt. The calls reportedly came in from somebody speaking English. Now, Caroline Kennedy, daughter of JFK, assumed the post in 2013. She is obviously a very high-profile figure over there. And with the violent attack on another U.S. ambassador just this month, police are investigating just how serious this threat might be. All seemed normal with Ambassador Caroline Kennedy today. She gave a lecture at a university in Tokyo. But the Associated Press reports Japanese police are investigating death threats against her. Japanese media say the calls were made to the U.S. Embassy and came from somebody speaking English. They are looking into the possibility the person might be trying to blackmail the 57-year-old mother and diplomat. The U.S. Embassy did not have a comment, but threats like this against U.S. politicians and diplomats are not uncommon. I'm leaving here. I'm leaving here. Still, the reports come on the heels of the attack on U.S. Ambassador Mark Lippert in South Korea earlier this month. A Korean national testified he knifed Lippert because of his symbolic representation of the United States. Kennedy has been the ambassador to Japan for just over a year. The Associated Press reports authorities believe the threats made to her are similar to ones targeting the U.S. Consul General in Okinawa, home to 50,000 U.S. troops. Adding to the heightened anxiety, Michelle Obama, who landed in Tokyo this morning. The First Lady is kicking off her educational tour, promoting schooling for girls. Other than the suspected blackmailing, no other motive is known right now. Now, anyone who follows international and even domestic politics closely knows that, unfortunately, these sort of threats are not uncommon. But Matt and Savannah, given the attack on Mark Lippert, who, who we should say was OK, these threats and potential growing anti-Americanism are being looked at quite closely. So they have the government's full attention. Katie Turr, thank you very much.